tuning that down a bit, but yeah. So last time we found uh, Patrus, who's actually a mage, and he's he's actually a teacher of Ovin. Uh, he's pretty pretty decent in casting, but th that defense, I mean, uh, that's that's dreadful. There, and as I can see, I think the boxes were in this area, so we are starting quite near. Yes, here they are. So, oh, yeah, right. None of none of us is actually reading the mortal, unless he had a spell. I think he had a spell. Union allows Castell to read mortal. Yep. doesn't live with, uh, within the house, nor does it live without. It doesn't live within the house, nor does it live without. Most will use it when they come in, and again when they come out. Door. Oh, okay, sure. So we had pretty okay armor here. Almost perfect set, actually. It has come suddenly in an old game like this. So you really can't prepare, otherwise you need just need to be top of your game. Uh, we, could, we could abuse these posters. Okay, this is kind of start I want. That guy down. Okay, fir first both of the mages are down. Friendly the player. <laughs> that was that was poor. Okay, Patrus, careful with that spell. He he shot. Okay, now we are once again network is dropping our frames for some odd reason. I thought out. Hopefully, not anymore. That guy thought out, but Jimmy took him down. Jimmy the hand. He he's pretty badass. Not smart. Finally, get we got there. Alright. 
So let's see what the what the boss has to say about. Hello. It seems our time for preparations is at end. Two of my field captions were found dead in areas through which the mortal strike force would likely come. That leaves me with one garrison company and two field companies operating under King Commanders. That does not make for the advantage in a siege. What in uh, matter of Duke Martin? I, I know he was visiting here. He's, he's from the books. He already is in the field with my rangers. I want you two to work with him to find ways to slow down or stop the uh, oncoming enemy companies. Our scouts have estimated the mortal have fielded about 1500 men. I hope I don't need to kill all of these. You have 300 men here and a castle. It's fair more than you need to stop that many soldiers. If there are Nighthawks th that have infiltrated my troops, we will likely lose more than a field captions before this is all over. We have a to assume for the moment that the model knew something that we don't. If we can stop even half of their number, I imagine we can defuse whatever plan it, it is they have. So any questions before you begin? When do we eat? Uh, where, where can we find the Duke Martin? Is he in the castle somewhere? I asked him to stay rel relatively close to the castle, so my guards could find him in the instance of emergency. You will have to search for him yourself. While you are, are, are at it, perhaps you can also find what has become of our mistress Tamni. He may have quit the castle. Mistress are not noted for the staying, staying power to, 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 through great battles. I will work against the morale of men should the ver he remain absent. It will remain. There will work against tomorrow. I want you to find him and use whatever means you have at your disposal to bring him back here, even if you bring him back in chains under a exact tight over his head. With the battle coming close at hand, I want nothing to divide the men. Hunt, hunt of the uh, bard. Excellent. I shall be glad to see you and Locklear in action. Patrus, you stay with them and help them in any way you can. Oh no. You are far more familiar with the area and has uh, lucid at giving the right directions as any of the rest of my men. We often uh, will want to uh, come back and report to you later if we want anything important if, or, or if Duke Martin sends us. Anything more here? Nope. Any tavern? Okay, that's, that's a purse with the... Yes, no, that, that's, that's, that's where we started. So. They were not alone. Patrick's pulse quickened as he saw the lone figure about approach. But when it became apparent they were not being attacked, he relaxed a bit, squinted slightly in an attempt to see who was about to join them. Duke Martin. I knew when I saw Signor Locklear prowling about with the Baron Gabbard, you couldn't be far behind. How's the my princely brother Artha? Fine, when I last saw him, he was uh, he's outside of the dim wood, with a small force awaiting my messengers to reach him. What are you doing so far from Crady anyway? The Brianna has uh, have you hunting rabbits from the locals too. No, but soon we four will be hunting far larger larger game than that. Seems this small wrinkle developing in the Northlands is about to become kingdom problem, if what Locklear told me was correct. I'm just glad to have you two here to lend a hand. Is King Liam going to join the party? Doubtful. This engagement isn't serious enough to warrant bringing the king into it, and he, he's got his hands full enough with the Kessian Empire. Since one of our kingdom ship accidentally mistook one of her Empress Imperial frigates as a pirate ship, and sunk it with all hands on board. Naturally, Lord Hadzra Khan is having a conniption. We'll have to fight out North Warden's battle on our own. What can I, Locklear, and I do? I have a 
most of the Baron Capots Rangers out checking, checking up the movements of the enemy. So I'll need you three to give me a hand with the various missions. I hope you three are in the mood of a bit of running about. Crossbows. Prisader has told me several occasions you are about the finest archer he knows. Arthur, you also used to tell his sister Carleen that his father was going to rope her to the manifest of Grondor's glory, so the Quakians could could have target practice when they passed her in the harbor. Doesn't mean he was true. And it was in Jimmy the hand. Uh, you are being modest, Duke. So I might be handy with the bow. Quite the interest. I was hoping you could give a Loki and I a few pointers. We both could stand uh, to learn a little about how to use the crossbow more if it, if it like to be able to teach you a little bit. Martin sighted his crossbow and fired. Feathers drifted from the bow as the lifeless barrel crashed down through the branches to the ground. A crossbow quarrel neatly driven through its head. It had been dead even before it touched the ground. That's incredible, James said. Uh, at that range, I would have thought it impossible. No, Martin said. He looked somewhat enigmatic as he knelt to touch the bird at his feet. I've hit them twice that distance, so it was merely difficult. Handing his crossbow over to first to James and the Locklear, he gave the instructions as each of the attempted similar shots. You both have made some progress, Martin said. Just keep doing so you started doing today, and you'll both make fine marksmen. Baron Gabbard. So, Baron Gabbard told us we were to report to you until the siege begins. Where do you want us? I was just telling a little fun. Patrick's house, your mortal. Which you are talking about, Duke? The one cuts under my bed, or the one makes me breakfast in the morning? Amazing, Jimmy. Is it meat, or does Patrus remind you of certain admiral we both know? I think Amos Trask would either love each other or hang another from the gibbet. I think he and Amos Trask. Uh, I think the Duke meant how well you do speak, mortal Patrus. I knew perfect well that he was saying your court rat. I can read it, but down to my asking how to pronounce any of that dog holding yellow yew ha. You won't have to for that, I have mind. There are some boxes near here that have mortal plates on them. I want to check the codes on them. Imagine those boxes will have supplies of rations for the mortar once they begin their siege, but I doubt they'll suspect we have tampered with them. If there are any rations, Find a way to poison them, then replace them in the boxes. Come back and find me once you are done. Well, that at least answers a few questions. We'll best be back at get, getting the batter in order. Is there anything else you need at the moment? Just for you three to be careful. We can't afford to lose any more men. I think we can handle that order. You stay out of harm's way as well, Duke. Arthur wouldn't forgive me if you somehow got arrow shot by some goblin archer. Farewell. Okay. Something, something over there. Let's head to the head and research. There's a cave. Interesting. So it's a house of some sort. Same sniff the air. The smells coming from the house were heavenly and that made his stomach crumble hungry as he knocked on the door. An att attractive woman in the brightly colored ap apron greeted them in a mo the moment later. She invited them inside and offered them some of the past pastries she had just removed from the oven. They accepted graciously. May, my name is Tia Halfgate. I'm the second eldest daughter of Fendel Halfgate. She went on to speak a late husband and of the certain soldier of Northern. And she now had her eye on. He's responsible for repairing and maintaining the weapons 
at Nordwarden. Perhaps you could teach me those skills so I could make a good impression on him. I could give you my husband crossbow I have no use for. Will you teach me? Yes. The lesson began. The watch at the great industry where Lord Claire told her about the sword and how he kept it sharp in a, and in a such good repair. After close or to an hour, the lesson completed. She opened the wooden chest beneath her bed and retrieved a hand so cro food and crossbow, presenting it to Locklear with warm smile of, of thanks. They thanked her uh, in Pacific, but yeah, fair. I was I was thinking that I could have streamed Baldur's Gate 3 today, but luckily with the state that streaming connection is that I'm not going to try it. Okay, I think we are surrounded. Eighty-one percent. <laughs> outside, outside of tavern. Let's try boarding. Uh, James is pretty good in this. Apparently, YouTube doesn't want to stream. Stream my game today. The man invited them to talk, a quiet amenable I fellow who was missing three of the fingers in his left hand. He smiled as James and Locklear told some stories about their childhood together in Grondor. When at last they began the story about the minister Lori, who became a Duke of Salador, he, the man nodded, but interrupted them when they claimed he was the best minister that they ever lived. I imagine this Duke of yours was quite talented, the man said. But to a short while ago, a jungler appeared here, uh, the match of which I have never heard. Immediately, Locklear exchanged a meaningful look, then looked back uh, to a man. What did the ministry look like? Young, attractive, rather tall, as I recall. The man said, have you seen him before? Temp noted, if it's who I'm thinking, then yes, do you know, to know, happen to know what became of him? Not certain, but he was asking for a place to put down for the night. One of the other patrons that was here, in here, told him that uh, Franklin nearby sometimes leaves his barn open for travelers. He might have gone there. Making a mental note, all the men had said James began to rise from the table when the man tucked at his sleeve. Another thing, 
Um, the man told the, the door to the barn sticks quite a bit, and he might not be able to get the throne open. Text quite a strong man to get it uh, to work sometimes. I'll keep that in mind, James said. Have a good day. Ah, we got a hot, hot clue here. Can we use it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. That's long time since we have been able to use that in and properly get our stats to maximum. Uh, that looks like a barn. Okay, Locklear. Wouldn't Locklear refuse to open this by the repeated attempts to one of us seem too strong enough to open it? Separately or together? Uh, let's switch. Ah, uh, that's a uh, short, short, short play. This is strength potion, I think. Yeah, strength thirty-six. James motioned the fixture across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood before them, shifting nervously. I didn't expect to see... I didn't think anyone would... Uh, come after you, Pa. I should have known it. You come practicing branching in the North Modern with that little twinging box of yours, and you sing Blue Streak about honor and glory, but when it comes down to it, you ain't uh, got the picture. Instead, you got yes, this yellow stick. You never stand and eyeball your problems. Face to face, you let other folks to run you around. One day, somebody's going to run you, your life right off the cliff. I'm telling you, uh, I'm the one telling me to leave North Modern. Me, that's damn the ministerial decision, not someone else. I'm making the, my the decision to leave. The model done you, run you off, and then they're even there yet. They done a better job on you than any duke or baron you cross swords with before. I don't. Uh, I'd not be in a castle with a covered yeah, like you anyway. That isn't fair. I'm a minister. What could I be? I don't know how to use a sword. I don't know how to heal. Wounds or direct a battle. I'd just be a known way. What could I be? I'm just one insignificant man. Not so insignificant. Damn it. Before I went to serve in Krondor, my father used to advise me. When you have earned your title, make sure your ministerial is well paid. I hadn't a clue what that meant until I saw battles of Armageddon and Haigasal and Setanon and other scenes. When men sit and listen to songs about great battles to rem remember men like themselves have ha faced terrible dangers and em emerge alive and that gives them hope. Sometimes that's the only thing that an army needs. Why, why, why they do they all have to depend on me? Why did the fate arranged it that I was the minstrel who happened to be at the North Warden. We aren't going to force you to go, Tamni. It's your life, your decision, your choose to leave. That's your own business. Could I request a favor you before I make a final decision? Anything, uh, if it will set your feet back to the road of to North Warden. There's a cave not too far from here. It's known as Divina Diviner's Halls. Within there's several small stones called Pattern Stones by Geomancers, which can foreign man's future. If you return with one, I will make my decision. Geomancy shouldn't figure out you would uh, go for in that wholesome bosom. Just another way to, for someone else to make a hard, your hard decisions for you. Quet Patrus, we will see what we can do, Tamni. Into the dungeon. Ah, trap. 
It is a trap. Hum. Hmm. Ilta, ilta. Mites siellä menee? Täällä menee äärimmäisen huonosti. Okay, riddles, which we need to spell to understand. Candle glow, okay, that's... A carpenter left some wood, would not take it back. I saw some dust where he left it, but couldn't find his stack. Sawdust? I remember some of these. Okay. Who had the ropes? That many ropes. Should be enough. No, that's it. Geomancy stones, yes please. Now we can get out of this dungeon and back to the bard. Did you go to the divin div diviner halls? Did you bring back a pattern stone? Don't get yourself into this, Tamni. We got your silly rocks. Now walking back to the north warden or why are we darking your... I will walk back myself after I studied the rock. Tell Baron Gabbard that I will be there soon. I think he will be rather more relieved than you might imagine. Why and why is that? Before I was off the castle I had mind I, I had it in mind that I wasn't le to leave until I at least made some pro provisions that I could survive. Even assuming I slipped out of the castle without noticing, there was still the issue how I would pay my way until I reached a safe haven. So after a bit of investigation, I found out the treasury. It was being guarded by the fellow by the name of Corby. I followed this trust, <laughs> whose trust, with, hello, whose trust with a certain girl by the name of Thea. I have had the vi vic vicarious pleasure of orchestrating over the past several months. Once I had convinced him that she was awaiting him, it was a simple matter of slipping inside and grabbing up at the watch. Not as if the Baron missed a few gone sovereigns. I think he's involved with other things in at the moment. Exactly I was thinking, but it seems that I picked up the dark was worth rather more than a few thousand sovereigns. Several hundreds more. Once I realized what I had done, I became terrified of going back. Uh, I could see why, but then the Baron told us to come and get you. He made no mention of missing money. It's entirely possible no one has noticed the missing funds as yet. You can take them back to him. I can't. Even if I return them, the Baron will be aware that Corby left his post open for me to plunder. Though I can't say I behaved much like a friend to him, I don't wish to betray him twice with the same crime. <laughs> Actually, I have something, an admission to make. Is there re he is the reason why I ask you to retrieve German's stones from me. They aren't worth much, even to a James dealer, but they can be used to make an attractive stone to 
warp fading band for Corby, of course. So you have been considering returning all this time, but you wanted to wait until you could cover all the possibilities. All but one. I was wondering if you can take the pouch of diamonds and hold it to it after the battle was over. This way no one gets hurt and we can uh, all do what we need to do. Tell you took them off the dead night or something. When you go back in the castle it's all possible that they will search you since your behavior has been little odd. I'll take the diamonds but I'll worry about how I will tell him later. My only concern is that you return immediately. We have other things we need to be doing for Duke Martin. Done. I'll see you back all back at the castle. Don't be too happy about this, Tamni. You and I will have a big score to settle in later. Don't let yourself get killed getting back there. And then back to the Duke Martin. So, what's brought you looking for me, goblins? I'm beginning to get wistful for the days when we were running the billets in Krondor for Master Delacy. I haven't had this much exercise for a long time. So, where are the, these goblins you told about, us about? What about Tamni? Did you find him? Yes, to get to a little extra work to get him heading back to Northwarden. He promised to he fully he would return and I believe he will. We had a long talk. I can see now why Arfta Valley is so much you so much. I personally wouldn't have believed it possible, but as things state we still have a long row to a hole. As they say. A coupling company of archers has already moved into a pass and is trying to entrench itself there. If they get a foothold, they may be impossible to root out once the mortar roll in. We need to find out what the deployment is going to be when the battle begins. Okay, so we grab their leader and give him the whole poker treatment, treatment in the dungeon under Northwarden. Tell us where to find him and he's yours. No, no good. As soon as they discover he's missing, they'll change their tactics. No, what I need is big plan, and I'll be willing to bet that's still in Raglam. So, how many scouts has the Baron lent you? Uh, I have about 20 men at the moment, why? Then you won't miss three of us much. We are going to Raglam and we'll find a way to get that plan for you. You plan to march through the company of coupling archers to the city where the mortar are amassing, walk right up the leader of the enemy and say, Excuse me, my I just brought your war plans, please. As I recall, I snook off the future Duke of Crydy, Prince of Princess, Prince and Princess, and the Admiral of Western Fleet out of Krondor, when it was under siege of Joko Radburn and Kaipas Tura. I think I can snatch a silly piece of paper. I think if a prince out of that didn't want, want to make you a duke or crondor someday, he would probably have you killed as a madman. Alright then, get me that paper, but be careful, I'll be waiting for you. Stepping out of the ranks of the enemy, the tall pale complicated the goblin drew his sword and pointed it at James. Speaking the kingdom tongue with some difficulty, he glared with the black eyes. You speak a price of the passage, he said. Dergun has speaking to you and tell to Gula. Gula, consider and say price of passing is being thousands of two sovereigns. Thousands of two, James replied. You mean those thousand sovereigns. If you pay, we shall let you pass. If you... Come closer, we and not pay, we kill you. We do give a thousands of two. Yes. Throwing at their feet of the goblin, he waited for the collected by the scrambling mercenaries. You promised passage, yes, the James said. Yes, the goblin replied. We not fight, nor shall any of the company you meet. Tell them you paid our, your way to Gulas command. 
We will fight for you, your pattern. Wow. <laughs> okay, we got an army. As the goblin leader muttered, it looked like chuckled, he whispered to, in James' ear. Imagine the look of Baron's face when that lot, lot marches after North Vanden and announces they are fighting his side. He'll have a fit. James smiled. Too bad we won't be there to see it. Haha. <laughs> Let's not sleep here. Yeah, point. Now we're at the Northlands. So that's a siege tower. Some age. Oh no. Did we have a. No, we don't. Ouch. And you missed. Of course you missed. Get your aim together. And of course he missed. Uh, more misses than hits. Let's froze that guy once more. It's a trap, and that's a catapult. Okay, so can we solve this? Actually, we, we can actually rest, rest in this trap first. So let's exploit this. Solvable. Locklear gaped in a wonderment of, uh, at the heavy wooden catapult. They walked around the weapon, studied it from every angle, spending extra time looking. The firing and trigger mechanism on the whole it appeared to be in good condition, though one of the thousand gears had broken. 
Mortal must put this uh, toad throwing toy and a the pattern. They would never get it up the past for the old cramp pockets. Shut them down. Perhaps, but it is no of no use to them now unless someone fixes it in order to lob stones at Raglam. Now that's back peculiar now that you mention it. Tell me, Loki, if you are aware just going to leave something like this lying around in the field, even if you didn't have it working, would you leave it pointed at your home? What are you getting at? The only reason this thing won't function is because one of the torsion gears is broken. Not some something that all complicated to fix. Now suppose the gear didn't break on its of its own accord. Goat told me that many of the model clans had reservations about fighting under the old battle colors of Murmandamus. Now if you were one of those clans and wanted to back a plan in case you wanted to back out the strike, it would simply be a matter of installing replacement gear and pulling the release lever. It even has a payload in the basket. Of course, assuming we could find a part of cells, we could stir up some trouble. Maybe find a way to get to the plans Doug Market needs the, in the confusion. Perhaps, but we'll need to find a replacement catapult part first. I doubt there is one lying here somewhere, Let, but let's ch check around. Locklear hesitated before the door. Kroldeth, he snared, rubbing his finger across three red marks above, above the door frame. What does that mean? Captain Kroldeth is a modern leader who has reputation of setting up residence in empty dwellings. What are these marked red marks over the door? These are equal in number of original inhabitants he murdered to ensure the emptiness of the structure. The rumors of savagery have spread as far so as Grondor. During the egg hands would wa draw wanted anti unwanted attention from the mortal nearby, realizing the futility of confrontation they left. Okay, interesting. Did the Arendt Minstrel send you to sing for me? No. Then why are you annoying me? So do you think we could just walk in right without and attracting under attention? It's a trick I learned many years ago. Everyone will gravitate towards simple solution of any dilemma. He whispered, reaching for the door. Patrus wasn't convinced. This is highly irregular. Look at that this way. We either have a legitimate reason to be here, or we are completely insane and walking into the right of the middle of the enemy territory. That doesn't make a lick of sense, so everyone is not real. Assumed first is true. Now try to act like you belong here. Apparently satisfied with their story about being mercenaries from Quake, the mother told them he was a trader who made re frequent trips to several of the towns located near the border between Kingdom and the Northlands. What can you tell me of Bush out? Perhaps is that Captain Corletley received his final orders to move against Northward and Futile. With our numbers, we have no hope of surviving the march to the to it and breaching the walls. This kingdom pattern will crush us utterly, unless the engineer has come up with something. Trying not to be too interested, Saint brought the murder further. Serkson? I had heard he was killed in a quake on pattern near Palaki. I wouldn't know. I've not been food for eight years or more. I've been working in the press gang. Hmm. He will hit some mood point. For in the moment anyway, Krodek has locked himself in the commander command post to work on the battle plans and for the goblin offensive and the engineer just sits in his house drawing up designs. Hopefully the kingdom won't elect to retaliate after this madness is over with. They thank him for the information he was able to provide. 
and casually stroll back to the spot near the tavern door. What is your name again, Nago? Yes, we are mercenaries from Quake. Just arrived. What news do you have of the thrust showed? They say Captain Cordek has final orders to move against North Farden. Beyond that, I don't, don't the interest. Drunk. Said you to sing for me. Well, come on in then, he said, washing them inside. I'm very busy, but I work much better with music playing. Help me think. And what manner of work you do? As Patras, Mortars called. You here to sing or ask questions? There's a loot over the corner, use it. As Patras picked up the loot and began to play, he was amazed by the huge assortment of gears, bullets, and springs. And other equipment that that there were scattered down the house. The murder was obviously some sort of engineer. What is all this stuff he whispered Locklear? I cannot be sure, but I recall stories of a mortal weapon maker whose ideas and plans were sometimes too inspired even for Delekan. He was known to be a bit more of a musician. Only they couldn't play better or than here. Stop the racket, this is music you play. They could make better music dropping that instrument down to flight of stairs. Get out of my house. Not one thing to upset him any further, they agreed to leave. As they stepped out of the door, Patrick whispered, I tried to not to play my best, but playing poorly can sometimes be as difficult as playing well. Uh, I some wonder if we can... Maybe he plays better as drunk. Drunk 80, 84%. Nice. Patrus played poorly. Considering his condition, this was a pretty easy task. Fortunately, this is exactly what the old murder wanted to hear. He grumbled something about being able to play better. This seemed to make him happy. Soon he was telling them about his work. I had been working on a catapult for a Captain Korlek, but a dragon lover refused to play me when I was finished with it, so I fixed him right up, removed the critical care, and now he can't get it to work at all. The model left, then continued with, uh, with a sly smile. I finally had it moved to a spot within the range of his house and loaded up with a magical poison. One of these days I'm going to retrieve that gear and you'd have to say goodbye to the Captain Cordak, I can assure you. Where did you hear this gear? Inquired James innocently. I it in the pot box by the bridge. Now shut up and let me concentrate. Luckily, I had to do a deep breath. Holding the catapult part they had found in the box and using some makeshift tools they he needed before the machine and set to work. It took nearly two hours to install the part and to lock there was positive the match would work at all. He stepped back to admire his handiwork. I'm not an engineer, but I think that should work, he said, motioning to the others to join him. Together, they stood before the strange wooden creature plans. Sword of Limbs Kragma. Yes. I think this is... This is pretty neat. Very, very neat weapon. Rasiel mod human, okay.
So this is this is going to be destroyed on all weapon. We need to get the blessing for that weapon, but yeah. We think we could turn their web on weapon against them, Locklear said. Though they had already done the damage they had come to, James wanted to watch the machine work one more time. <laughs> one more with a feeling. Okay, let's uh, escape from here. You remember what else, don't you? Yeah. Friendly to friend, friendly to goblins. We got the plans for you, Martin. Too bad you didn't come with us, though. We had quite a, uh, quite a bit of fun. I won't be won't be much time for that very soon, my gut instinct tells me that they'll begin the assault in the next few days. Before we go back uh, to the castle, there's something I would like to three of to check out to for me. <laughs> I got this mysterious note from someone who, that said the company model illusionists have slipped behind the Northwarden. Uh, I thought Patrus would know how to best deal with him. Just like those pointy-eared lily munchers, to go stealing my idea ideas, Baron Gabbard and uh, had me working on something like that, but I never could uh, get the kinks out. I know my tongue was jizzing for the, some reason, but if we run across them, I got something that fixed the hint, head, hint quarters in the part, butt's fart. Whoever wrote the note doesn't specify where they are supposed to be located, so if you three could just take the swings southwest and see what you can find. Uh, once you are done, come back and we'll all head to the castle together. Well, at this answers a few questions. We would be best to back back to at getting this battle in order. Is there anything else you need at the moment? Just for you three to be careful, we can't afford to lose any more men. So, um, time to use some, <laughs> some drugs. Okay, let us concentrate. It's going to be a magical attack, so we can drink that. Sport play, yes. Okay, if I go there, none of these three are able to cast spells. Well, Patrus is down. Oh no. Well, that. Oh, mist. That's a sword of Limskaragma. 
Oh no, oh no. Okay. I need to use the healing potions. Let's see if they don't freeze me. I can I can actually have a shot of feeling this. Okay, still still can move. I don't know what happened. I think I'll meant the pain. My wounds are mortal. You go, go without me. No one gets le left behind. No one get your things and we will <laughs> we will move. We'll find a healer for you along the way who can help. Scratch one group of mortar magicians. We found them, Duke. Good, I want you three to hurry ahead to the castle. They have already turned back irritation us out today, and I think Baron can use your help right now. I need to find out what's happened to one of our scouts that's gone missing. I'll be along as soon as, soon as I can. The port cools creaked. An ashen faced soldier trembled as he labored at the monolithic peg wheel. His back arch back was stout as the bowstring as he hauled the iron gate upwards. With a jerk of his neck, he cast between cleanse and teeth for James and his companions to hurry inside. Within a handful of soldiers hurried uh, to various tasks on the battlements, and panic cat captains attempted to rally the surviving continents of the day's fighting. Something's wrong, James muttered, observing this array. What's happened? Baron Gabbard's been murdered. That's what's happened. And the above soldier showed it. Glancing up the from where he worked. Feverishly and at unblocking the key kick of oil. We found a bloody nest of nighthawks in our midst. The murdered patterns, staff and three of the captains before he cornered in the storeroom. Dodge these corpses immediately, James ordered. They might be black slayers. Where's the Duke Martin? Don't know. You're the closest thing we have in nobility at the moment. Cast, ca guess that puts you in the command, Signor. James said nothing as the rumble of thunder split the sky. Half dead soldiers tri uh, trium trumped the blast. Their eyes hollowed with the exhaust as they traded places with eagerly burn men brought from the dining hall. Returned turned infirmary. Few men still possessed clothing unstained by blood. Though with the turn of events, James A. eyed the horizon for any signs of, or sign of help. In all likelihood, the mortal would attempt to breach the wall today, and there was little he could do about it. Not how treachery had silenced their cannons, and too many men had fallen in four days of fairy fighting. Attack, the voice screamed. Attack men on the south face. James cast a fuming curse into the sunrise. He might die, but he would send as many mortal as he could reach into the house of death goddess before he could would go down. The mortal thrust. As life dimmed in his horrified eyes, he and he toppled backwards into the wooden balustrade. With the air splitting shriek, the railing thundered in the flying splinters, tumbled after his flaying feet as he disappeared into nothingness. Almost two days to breathe, James bolted to the wall to sight his fallen opponent. A crumpled heap of armor lay for be uh, below splashed in gore and in spreading stain of red. Close by the grim looking figure lowered his crossbow and tilted up his saggy track head to the favor of senior with a rare smile. Arthur. I was beginning to believe you were going to miss
been up to the, at least some six companies in the hills. About that, since they didn't have a decency to attack all the ones, we couldn't tell. If our trackers are to believe four of these companies slipped out in a week ago, while other two kept your forces pinned down, the rest apparently turned southwest. Sounds like they mean to strike at High Castle. Undoubtedly, since the model leader has mimicked many of the moves that his predecessor Mulmandamos made, it stands to reason that he may make many of the same mistakes. As a precaution, I split my forces and diverted half of them to High Castle. As soon as we are finished cleaning up here, we will, I will take the three days ago a seemingly weak summer squall, but intensifying its thrashing eye of violence within hours it would make a landfall doubtless, bruising the life hoods of many coastal towns, Grondor among them. Perhaps it can be tamed, Book thought, his face twisting into a frown. More of a lesser path affair, but it should be simple enough. Even as he extended his hand, the image of another storm formed in his mind unbidden, a terrifying storm that had rage over his head as he came into the greatness of his power in a far distant empire called Tsurayronani. A storm that had tested his right to be a member of the alien assembly of magicians. A st storm that had rent open the heavens and forever sent him a part of the, mo of the modern man. Energy leapt from Book's outstretched fingers into the heart of the storm, exploding within the glorious rainbow pattern that illuminated the clouds in a throbbing elemental display, greenish bands of color dense in the sky as the wind began to abate, the rental rains quickened, softening of a mild pa patter, as the blue blast of energy moved between sea and sky, gently the ocean stilled of its own accord. Satisfied the threat was reduced, but discontinued the spell uh, with a slicing gesture and stepped back to watch the storm's process. The sight eased his mind and allowed him time to mull over the series of issues, not the least of which was the right vacation that he, his wife Katala, and that Gamina had intended on making in Krondor, but like a lodestone of to mental, to metal, he long found his thoughts returning at the end and again to recollections of the empire. A right in the flame of enemy comes to streak his candies on skeleton, skeleton drums. Hello. For thunder spite will raise our call to the downshall crumbles and impure all. A Tsurani poet, I believe he was uh, Hos Omekhan. Hos Min Minivam Mabi, reign of the fifty th third light of heaven. Is there something you need to see me about Makala? I am busy. Busy? You have been behaving like a knee trouble with a poor in his bit. I came to ask what has bar book of Stardock so distracted that he cannot find the time to meet his associate magician. Has his reputation so inflated that the member of the Turani assembly has no longer worthy of his attention? I'm sorry, perhaps you are right. I've just been very preoccupied. I'm, my, 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 I find myself obsessed with this storm. All the week I felt it's building over bitter sea. All the while I have suspected there's more than to it, then it's immediately perceptible. It doesn't feel natural. Have you seen like it's like? I've seen its match in destruction. As I recall, you created far more havoc in Tsurayronani when you disrupted my emperor's imperial games. Yep, he did. Several city blocks destroyed, countless life lost, the warlord cast down in dishonor. I had a feeling you didn't summon a rift door to test cast size me about my lack of attention. What is this about, Makala? Your loyalty is buck. While you claim loyalty to the empire, 
you live your life under the influence of Mid Kimian King and took the wife of truly Highlander. Your judgment is suspect. From the day I left the Empire, my judgment and my loyalty ceased to be a sunshine of assembly of magicians. I do what I see best for all concerned. I see. Then is any act justifiable to that at the end? If it serves the common good, yes. Even if it violates violates an individual's rights. But you wish to, for me to say, Makala, you lead me as if I were to one of your Nidra cows, but I'm no mood for games. State your business. Very well. Your daughter Kamina has blossomed into a remarkable young woman. She's beautiful, gracious, and an honor to your house. Unfortunately, she's also a girl with remarkable powers. Your love for your daughter has led you to grievous miscarriage of your duties. Why have you let her leave? My estimation of personal magical talents is not determined by their sex, Makala. Yeah, I, I think they didn't uh, want uh, female high power magicians in, in a Tsurarunani, if I re remember correctly. And I refuse to murder my child to appear as public tenant of the assembly. They have no authority in Midkemia. In this instance, I believe th they will choose to ignore the geography. At this juncture, the assembly will is troubled. Surrounded by anti traditions you embrace your Midkemian values, let in charge large part by the Mara of the Akoma. I think I remember her. That was another book series. Open defense by you as our most notable member could weaken the position within the empire. And that is something we cannot afford. We would be forced to make you publicly comply. Although I'm equally wary of female abomination, I've no desire to see your daughter dead. I've acted in your behalf and placed her in exile until such time we can agree upon her ultimate fate. Why didn't you consult me? Where have you sent her? Seek her if you wish, but it will avail you little. Your further in future inference will likely ensure the assembly will carry out its order of death. They will be unable to kill her, however, if they cannot find her. It would be your advantage to leave her be. I will not content myself to sit here while the assembly banters about the value of my daughter's life. I still shall find her, and when then you tell your brethren to expect my visit. You embarked on the dangerous road, but it's yours to take. Farewell, Tempak. Betrayal. The Book of Macros. The meditation tower being one of the first places I suspected of looking. I went there as soon as I discovered that neither he or na nor my daughter appeared to for breakfast that morning. There I found the message that he had burned into the wall. Book of Macros. What do you think the message means? Macros is uh, overpowered wizard, uh, time tra traveler, plan planes walker, whatever guy from the book series. Uh, I thought for a while that he intended to for us to contact the magician named Macros, but it would be feat impossible even for even Puck to accomplish. Macros left mid Kimia long ago, all he left behind were his writings. And presumably this book of Macros would be among the books he left behind. Perhaps. But I cannot be certain. The library of that Macros left in Sorcerer's Isle was vast and it took us better part of the year to move it back to the Academy of at Stardock. Since, since that time some of the volumes have been lent out of the various scribes so that can, it can be catalogued and described. Then the book could be anywhere a new approach before he disappeared. Did you note anything usual that he, he may have 
Shadow Dan. As I said earlier, he had some seemed ag agitated for some some long time, but yes, there was something. About a month ago, we were talking in a grand gardens outside of palace, just the two of us enjoying the day when he suddenly halted us near the silver grate. When I asked what was wrong, he said, "Not all of the sheep are in, are in our fold." Sheep, forgive me, lady, but your husband seems to have an inferior penchant for the cryptic. Not ordinarily, no, but when things are on his mind. But come, I must head towards Stardock and look for uh, for evidence of this mug of macros there. Where shall you two go? We go below the sewers and the Crondor oven, good lady. I believe we shepherds have an errant flock of sheep to find. <laughs>